Hey, Sneaky Linux back again today with another Simplicity Linux, okay? Another one. But this one is not a desktop, this is the Media Edition. And normally I wouldn't do this one twice or three times or four times, but I just had to show you this one just to show you how quite good it is, really. It is just for media. It's 131 megabytes download, so it's about three or four minutes of download. And according to his website, it says just put it on a USB stick and just play it from there, okay? Which I would do anyway, personally. So I've installed just myself to the hard drive, though, because I'm like that. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty clean screen, okay? We've got these pop-up bars, top and bottom. And by the way, this is not Limington down here. No, no, no. It is not UK, that's somewhere nice, okay? Okie dokie, we'll get that out of the way. Okay, on our bottom bar, where everything really is that we need to know about, because this is all you're going to use it for. It's only for media, okay? We get a Dropbox attachments for Dropboxing and doing your networks. Attach storage stuff, so you want to play your films, DVDs, music, or whatever. That's there for you, okay? You get your web browser here, here and here. Your networking setup and manage your networks. Right, the first one is a blink box. Buy, rent and watch free movies all online. Right, buy, rent and watch free movies online. I didn't get that bit, but anyway. It's where you can hire DVDs, basically, or web, uh, web uh, DVDs, something like that. So here we are at the old website. Basically, if you want new stuff, it will actually cost you. So Captain America is £3.49, that's about $6, something like that. So it's not exactly cheap, but it's not too expensive if you want to watch some of the newer films that are out, okay? But under the free section, if we go to free, there is a lot of free stuff here, including Redline. There you go, it's quite good, isn't it? Not bad. There's some sci-fi stuff here under TV, Highlander series is here, The League of Gentlemen is here, also here, and some more pay ones down the bottom, okay? But some of them are a bit cheap here, as you can see, some are 199 and Mission Impossible 3 is 99 pence. Well, you might as well just go and buy the DVD and play it properly, really, mind you, really, when you think about it. But yes, it's all on the stick for you, though, so it's a bit different, isn't it? So anyway, back to our bottom bar again. The next one is Groove Shark. Now, I've done a review on this a couple of years ago, actually. And I've not actually used it since. But basically, you can stream current music to your PC and listen to music while you do your work. So, for instance, if I put in here... No... Notorious B.I.G. And click there, there. A bit like Spotify, really. But this one you'd have to subscribe to if you don't want to. Okay. But there's only one track under there for a simple reason. That is not spelt correctly. Okay. That's the main reason. Uh, who else got to put in? Okay. We'll go back to the 80s. There we go. They come up straight away. And we'll get some more stuff in a second. There you go. And you can play the music from here if you want to. So you get most of the current tracks. Some you can't play, some you can. But I've been through it. You can get most artists and most music. And if you're only doing listening oddly one or two or three hours a week or something, it will do. You don't have to pay any monies, which is the bit I like mostly. Okay. okay. Next. Okay, TV. Watch Freeview online for free. Now, in the UK, this is not for the US, by the way, so I'm so sorry. We have what we call Catch Up TV. So, if I open the site up, it's all via the browser, by the way. We can get all the TV channels here to watch whenever we want to on all the, the programs that have been on. So, that's pretty good. You do have to sign up for this one, but it don't cost you a bean or a dime or a penny or a cent or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't cost you anything at all. You can also get it for your iPhone and your iPad, and I imagine there is an Android app as well, but we're not using it there. We're using it on our stuff, aren't we? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty good too. Okay. You've got a Kindle reader here too, to read your Kindle books, because obviously you're going to store them on Dropbox, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Set up your preferences. Buy music. Now, I know it's for sure it's 7 Digital, which is uh, it runs you until Music Store as well, as far as I'm aware. It's got a new look now, as you can see. But I've been using 7 Digital for years, never had any problems, and if you lose the stuff, you can download it again. So, no big deal. It's all there. Also here, we have the BBC iPlayer. Also, if you're in the States and wherever, sorry about that, you can't get this. No. This is for recording and downloading and watching live TV, anything from the BBC, TV or radio or web. Okay? Yeah, really, really simple. Nice. Okay. Right, that's that bit out of the way. Next, we'll go to the main menu for a change. Now, as it's weary racy, N-O-P, no office pup, so it's all the office stuff stripped out. That is why it's quite small, by the way. It's pretty basic. There's not a lot here. You do get the real basics, but not a lot. You get mash up again, an empty paint again. 
and some of the other stuff. You could have pulled some of these out of the ISO, really, if you really wanted to, but hey, you know, those things, I suppose, isn't it? So there's no Abbey Word, there's no G numeric. So if you want them, you can install them yourself, okay? Yes. Right, so if we go to setup, I think no system. Setup we'll go to. We go to the Puppy Package Manager. Now, this one is set up correctly to go to the Weary Repos. So everything you download should be okay. So, in theory, if you go to Multimedia, you can get all the extra bits that you may want to have here for your multimedia device stuff, and in case you want Audacious or Didby for your music player instead, and get a different browser if you so wanted to. I've actually installed VLC here, so it plays correctly for me. You can get all the latest Flash Player here and the Sea Monkey if you really wanted. Oh, and if you wanted Skype as well, which I probably would have left on there, I would have left it on as well and kept it. You can download it from here from the Puppy Weary 5 repos. Right, well, that's not a quick one, but hey, for ingenuity and good thinking, Simplicity Linux 12.1 Media is probably better than the desktop, in my personal opinion. It has more usefulness from a USB stick or installed on a lappy, even as a separate partition. So for that reason, I'm going to give it 80%. Oh yes, 80%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.